Hi, hello, yes. Welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. My name is Ashley and if you're new here, sorry. <laughs> A lot of new faces around here and I'm kind of nervous. But anyways, oh wait, and this is after work so my hair's kind of fixed for once. Wow, who is she? Every single Monday I upload a new video where I take a classic that you say I should have seen by now, which I'm 26, and uh, I give you a preview review for what I think the movie is going to be about. Then we watch it together with reaction and commentary. Then I give you a review and some stars. Today's movie of choice, Mel Brooks's History of the World. Part one. Spaceballs was okay. That review is up. Blazing Saddles, amazing. Five out of five stars. I think it's a great film. Would watch it again. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend. I had something else planned for Jeff, my friend Jeff, but I'm gonna make that next Monday now before we get into spooky season. And uh, I really wanted to watch another Mel Brooks just because I really enjoyed Blazing Saddles a lot. So let's go ahead and kick off this preview review of History of the World, part one. Was that cheesy? That was too much. I'm, I'm never gonna do that again. A little preview review. So I've already watched. So History of the World part one. I wonder, knowing the little bit that I now know about Mel Brooks, I wonder if now it's gonna be like, like, I don't know, are, are they gonna start at dinosaurs or are they gonna start at the Constitution? Well, it can't be the Constitution because then it wouldn't be the history of the world. So I'm excited to see what approach he takes, especially since some of you in the comments of Blazing Saddles pointed out that Mel Brooks is indeed Jewish. So is he going to approach this from a Big Bang standpoint? Is he going to approach this from a creationism standpoint? I don't know what's going to happen, but honestly, I'm just excited and I'm glad you're here to be along for the ride too. I don't know. I guess we're going to go over the history of the world according to Mel Brooks. Is there a part two? No, people in the comments have been saying there's not a part two. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started on this Millennial Movie Monday. So far, I don't know any of these names in the opening credit, so we're off to a great start. I'm just not ready for whatever's happening. Oh no, oh, our forefathers. He and his would surely die. <laughs> There's your fire, buddy. Even the most oh God! Man, this need, this talent, clearly separated early man from animals. Wow, Would beautiful! Came, came the inevitable afterverse. The critic. Ah, he don't like it. Those are some strong feelings, and he's not even using words. The first Homo sapien marriage occurred. That's how mine happened, honestly. By the first homosexual marriage. This is very Monty Python-esque, this one is. Funeral services were often brief. Yeet! Music was born. Wow, beautiful. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you, I hear you. Death man could hear you. What? <laughs> Nothing <laughs> has given unto you these 15. <laughs> ten, ten <laughs> commandments for all to. Five and ten cent store? Is that. I don't know my Roman numerals. All right. You, sir, are going to Rome. But I am in Rome. Do I lie? <laughs> Whoa, so folk, we give. Annual orgy and buffet. I mean. First serve, first. Oh my god! Wipe the shit right out of your house! Loving! <laughs> Loving here! Occupation. Gladiator. <gasps> That's um. Did you kill last week? No. That's um. Did you try to kill last week? On the Golden Girl, she was Dorothy. B. Arthur! I love B. I didn't know she was in movies. And again, I knew she was in the Golden Girls, but I didn't know. And look at her with long hair. I 
I love B. R.I.P. B. Yeah. Sign. Is that all she's ever played as a bitch? I'm sorry. I'm on my wine break. I need more wine breaks. Jewish, huh? Ow! Oh. Oh. <laughs> See? He had a rock in his frog. Is there anything that Mel Brooks can't do? His name is Miracle. Huh? Miracle. He said, yeah, that's me. I'm Miriam. I'm a best virgin. I'm really sorry to hear that. <laughs> you they shove a living snake up your ass. Ah. No, he was hoping. Very... Lose that miserable piece of shit! Okay, but he used to be the fastest horse. His name is Miracle. Don't call him a piece of shit. Is that Madonna? Do I have any openings that this man might fit? Whoa! I got a great corkscrew. Whoa. It is a hit. It's important to break for wild boars. and noble Marcus Vindictus. Is he related to Biggest Dickus or? A beautiful hand carved alabaster bathing vessel. He ain't gonna fit in that. <laughs> Is he gonna fit? <laughs> oh, he fits. Okay, cool. Now I feel bad. Bring me a small liar. Small liar. Small liar. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I wasn't even there. I was at a friend's house. Did check Don't in the mail. stop. Kind of liar. <laughs> <laughs> Say when. 8.30. First of all, they are so poor. How poor are they? Thank you. They are so poor that they have only one God. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we don't have a God for is premature ejaculation. But I hear that that's coming quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Titties. You have to choose your escorts for the midnight orgy. Yeah, I had almost forgot. Send them in. The midnight the orgy, I forgot. Arms rest. Those are butts. All right, virgins, put on your no entry sign. <laughs> we are. Caldonia, Caldonia, let's make their big head so hard. Oh, I'm not ready for what's about to happen. Ooh, I, w I didn't mean it like that. Oh no, oh lord. The jig is up <laughs> and gone. The jig ain't the only thing that's up, you know what I'm saying? Just across from the bats. Go. Right. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Okay. Give to Oedipus! Oedipus, because the dude lost his eyes. Hey, Josephus! Hey, motherfucker. Oh my god! <laughs> no matter what happens, don't panic. They're gonna panic. Panic! <laughs> Call it. Don't you know your left flank from your right flank? I'm sorry, sir. I flunk flank. You flunk flank? Get the flunk out of here! I also flunk flank. It's really fucking hard. Whoa. But how? The streets are crawling with soldiers. What's he doing? He's picking flowers. Flowers. Are they gonna smoke weed with the guards and like everybody's gonna get along for a while? Lord, that's our biggest blood. Cool the skin into our vertebrae. <laughs> See, I believe that response to weed more so than I believe Andrew's response in Breakfast Club. It's Moses! He's done! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't handle it. I can't handle it. It's all it's too much. Too much. And keep him up. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Do you wanna be stripped of your rights and privileges? Do you wanna be thrown into the dark? Breathe deep, my man. Wanna... Breathe deep. Oh hell yeah, fuck it up. This is the most Monty Python-esque thing I've watched since Monty Python. Come here, Chris. Can't get any good help today. Oh, this night is over. I swear to God. One of you shall betray me three times. No. Who? 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 
Who can it be? Judas! Mm. Do you want a beverage? Try the mulled wine. It's terrific. No! Jesus. Yes. What? 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 <laughs> yes. Stop. You... Ah, Leonardo. Buongiorno. Just a sec. It's all right. We ordered a group portrait. Ah. I can't... What the hell? Hold it. Oh my god. I am dead. It's too much. It's too much. Talk Amara. Do not implore him for compassion. Talk Amara. Do not beg him for forgiveness. Talk Amara. Do not ask him for mercy. Let's face it. You can't talk Amara of anything. And they shove a red hot poker up my ass. Well? And not a tube of preparation H in sight. What's in order to fail? It's what Why is this happening? Nothing is working! Send in the nun! I feel like this is a trap. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I feel like it's a trap. I'm dead. Why is that slightly terrifying? I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of it. They put a lot of work into that. And I'm exhausted. Nice dead rats for sale. Love some dead rats. Rat, rat pie and the ever popular ratatouille. Is that you? Like, Is that what I'm gonna look like when I get older with that hair? That Probably. Speaks, that speaks of triumph. Oh my god. Just tired. And now, let's end this meeting on a high note. <laughs> Don't be saucy with me, Bernays. Don't be saucy. <laughs> Why did we stop saying that? I'm gonna start saying that. Immense cups should be even with the tip of his pee pee. Yours are all the way down to your bowls. At least I have them. <laughs> yeah. Night to Rook Fall. And they're real people. I knew that was gonna happen, but like I didn't want to say it. No, no. Stop. Speak to you. Wee wee? Yes, a lot of it. <laughs> Wait for the shake. Huh? Wait for the shake? Mm. Oh, just How's it going, Marie? <laughs> what did I just want? Tell me, my dear, what can I do for you? Listen, her dress is one strong wind away from my revealing her little nip naps. You don't put out, he don't get out. Oh my god. It's good to be the king. Oh my god. And does he kiss titties in every movie? Wait, did he kiss any in Spaceballs? No, but he did in Blazing Saddles. Is this like a thing for him? I am their sovereign. I love them. Pull! I wasn't ready. Your Majesty, you look like the piss boy. And you look like a bucket of shit. Boom, Just roast stop. us. Tell me. Garçon, I must have a word with you. What were they doing you? behind that chest piece? I missed I'm it. Finished. See? I can't even walk like a kid. I can't walk in heels. <laughs> the fact that Mel Brooks is playing a character disguised as his other character that he is also playing but cannot act like that character in the other character, it's a lot happening. Lust for one. Oh, that's it. Oh. Ew. The noise it made. Your Majesty, please ravage me. Oh, and it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's the Just people. Uh, and he will set your father free. And she didn't even have to give up the goods, you know what I'm saying? Father. Her breast implants are just too much oh my for the God, stress. Mother. Play, my pretty one. Play. Please. <gasps> Play. Happy landing. Oh, God. Mother. Four, five. Any of them alive? Absolutely not. Dead. Well, he's exhausted. He's been in jail. Like, no telling what he's been through. Probably couldn't sleep on that hard floor. Don't be mad at him. I'm not arrest. But, dot, dot, dot. You don't understand. Dot, dot, dot. Do you require blindfold? 
Why would you get blindfolded to get your head shot? What's it matter? You know what? Maybe I would want to be blindfolded. Only a miracle can save him. Is the horse coming back? Stop! Oh my darling. Oh no, that's not. See! Hitler on ice! A Viking funeral! It's just a ship on fire. Jews in space! Is this space balls? I have to say that History of the World Part 1 gave me Monty Python vibes. And I almost feel like Mel Brooks ran out of ideas with just how much of a musical this was and all the singing bits. I mean, it was funny, don't get me wrong. I laughed a lot. I love Mel Brooks. You guys have opened my eyes to a whole new world in which I did not know existed. And I know that I still have several movies to go. So very excited about that. Yeah, the Spanish Inquisition song wasn't here for it. Yeah, I don't know. It was good. Okay, so if I had to rank the three Mel Brooks I've seen, I would give Blazing Saddles, History of the World, Spaceballs. Oh, I don't know. That's hard. No, yes, I stick with that. I stick with that analysis. I just, I don't know. It's almost like I feel like he was really reaching for this one. And I guess this goes back to Blazing Saddles. I love that he can poke fun at the things that, you know, not poke fun at, but just, you know, it's funny. It's just funny. He's a funny guy, very smart, great characters. Great, great characters, honestly. It was really funny. Okay, so Blazing Saddles, I never give it stars in the video. Blazing Saddles, five out of five stars. This one, I would give four out of five stars. I don't remember what I gave Spaceballs, if I'm honest with you. I don't remember. We had tacos for dinner. Anyways, so yeah, if I had to rank them, Blazing Saddles, I feel like that was amazing. This one, because I laughed a lot, and then Spaceballs. And I don't know why I'm putting Spaceballs as third. I am really enjoying the smells Mel Brooks what this Mel Brooks kick I am on currently. I mean, we're gonna have to draw it to a halt for spooky season. Um, speaking of which, still taking some last minute suggestions down in the comments below, stuff for spooky season. I've already got Poltergeist on the list, Exorcist, The Shining, let me know. Yeah, so I guess that's it. I don't regret watching this one. I had fun, I laughed a lot. And it was a good one, just Blazing Saddles was better, in my opinion. There's that on that and all about that. Like, subscribe, leave a comment about what I should watch during spooky season or what I should watch after spooky season. And I guess I will see you in next Monday's video. I think I have some beans for you, some extra beans, but not like Blazing Saddle beans. I mean like kitty cat beans. So let it roll. Playing with compression socks. Dip, dip, belly. Dip, dip, belly. <laughs> dip, dip, belly. Dip, dip, girl. Dip, dip, girl. Dip, 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 girl. Oh, I just folded those clothes. She knocked off the bed. I cannot be mad at you. Hell yeah, Beans. Get it. Get it, Beans. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, 
I've seen this and that. Get it, Bates. Why are they so cute this morning? <laughs> You're so fat. 